Hello, this is Sartre with Mythic MTG Tech number 359, looking at the top 10 mean commander cards. Before we jump in too far, though, I'd like to give a big thanks to the MTG EDH commander community over on Facebook. I posted this as a thread a few days back, and several of the ideas for this list came directly from that thread. These are cards that make your blood boil. These are cards that make people unhappy. Some honorable mentions here are Blood Moon, not a broken card. In fact, people should just put freaking basics in their deck, and then they won't have that big of a deal with it. Ristic Study, this card is just annoying. Yes, it can be beat. Pay the freaking tax. Everybody pay the tax, people stop playing the card. Gaddick. Oh, this card is so good. It's the closest one here that did not make the list. And Palancron, do you really need infinite mana to beat us? Like, beat us before you get infinite mana. We will not mention the Angel. She will not be mentioned. We will not talk about her at all. I have standards, and we no longer mention cards that go in blenders. I don't want to have to put things in blenders. I'm not saying that these cards should be removed. Not that any of the cards on this list would get removed because most of them are not green. I guess maybe one of them is green. EDH committee that's in charge of rules really only bans green cards. They don't ban cards like this, which should be banned for fun reasons, but will never get banned. So don't worry, I'm not advocating for banning them. Please don't listen to me and ban these cards. Number 10 here, Foreign Plex. Okay, I do have one green card, but it's really Frostbringer that I am so mad at. The Winter Orb. Winter Orb's an over the power crazy card, but I mentioned it in my previous video, so I wanted to have something with the same effect that really just angers me. Foreign Plex just slows the pace of the game down to almost nothing, and then it's no fun to play. Number nine, Stasis. Yeah, yeah, we all know how I feel about Stasis. Freaking awesome card! Uh, I used to play this a lot before I cared about ever having any friends ever again, and this card stopped you from ever having friends ever again. Number eight, Cyclonic Rift. This card is crazy, obnoxious, amazing, wonderful card. If you want to annoy people slowly, just use Capsize to do the same thing with huge amounts of mana. Number seven spot, apparently stealing people's cards makes them really unhappy. I don't know what it is. Oh, Memnarch, my first commander. Maybe when I started playing commander, I didn't understand the spirit. I hadn't conjured the spirit and talked to the spirit and knew that there was this nice, fluffy, friendly feel to it. Later, I learned about the spirit, and now I have friends that I play commander with. I hope you believe that. Number six spot here, Torpor Orb. Let's just shut down all those pesky enters the battlefield effects, and we won't have to worry about them at all as long as they're coming from creatures. Chocolate Hops. Oh, this card. If it got rid of everything, I might be able to see it. But the number of times that I've seen this cast with a bunch of enchantments or land equilibrium is just ridiculous. Number four here, Smokestacks. This card is crazy, crazy, crazy good. If it didn't say destroy land, if it looked more like Drop of Honey or Perfree Nodes, no big deal. If it hit everything at South Land, but no, it hits land, and it shuts the game down really quickly, and it's obnoxious to play against. Number three spot here, Nether Void, with honorable mentions to any other card that adds taxing effects, unless it's Thalia, because she only hits obnoxious cards like Brainstorm. Nether Void is awesome. Amazing card. Wonderful card. Shuts the whole game down, and no one will ever like you again. Number two spot here, Humility. Same thing. Shuts all of your creatures down. Lots of little two-card combos here that are going to keep you alive forever. This card is incredible, broken, and just obnoxious. Number one spot here, Jenga Taxius. Yes, cost 10. Comes out turn one, apparently, with Bazaar of Baghdad, a mana source, and some way to reanimate. This card is of the same feel as Leovold, and in reanimator decks is just the best target you can get 98% of the time in multiplayer. Obnoxious card. Wonderfully powerful card. Might not feel too bad if this one disappeared from Commander forever. So let's recap. To make sure you never have friends again, 
take their stuff, make sure they don't untap, and get rid of all of their land. Have you got that? We've got a strategy down here. What obnoxious, angering cards did I forget from this list? Please post them in the comments. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We've got a lot more videos coming. If you'd like to become a patron, please check out my Patreon page. It's been completely redone. We've got lots of videos coming this month. Thank you to Chess.com for supporting me here. Check out the other videos. Subscribe. Thank you all so much. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.